So, I'm back with this little off-grid camper dealing with these mice. I decided to go haywire and just really tear the whole thing apart. And I uh, had a lot of stuff just stored in here over the winter. I just got done taking it out. You know, a uh, sweepy sweepy, a little moppy mop. It's always nice to have cleaners around. This, this is going to take a little bit of fandango in. It's all the gas lines for the heater and the lamps and everything. I can't even hook it up till I figure out exactly what it's doing because still got one exposed in the wall where our old lantern was. Doing a little recycle on over the past, uh, hmm. Year, year and a half. I always figured there's got to be something I could do with these. So today I've encountered the mice and the lizards are out. Mr. Lizard! There's a uh, various kind up here. Uh, some of them more colorful than others. Some are this, some are that. And there's a little variety and you hear them all the time. But you really got to keep your eyes open. Not about the lizards, but you hear them scurrying. And today was the first day I found a snake. And we'll... You just gonna stay there, buddy? And we'll... Uh, show you something else here I got five days ago. I automatically assumed... That, uh... This guy would run out of air. Well, he didn't. So there's Mr. Scorpio, and uh, there's an old jar found somewhere laying around out in the woods. Old Miracle Whip. Look at Mr. Scorpion. He is still alive, basking in the sun. How long will that last? Who knows? I'm going to go over here to the uh, makeshift little storage van. Oh, by the way, quick tip on this Coleman. Don't buy these ones. They have a hard uh, handle inside of here. And then after that, the rope goes through. So you're going to wind up with a split like that. I have another one that doesn't do this because it's got a solid handle all the way through. Unlike this one, just a piece. Eventually, you're going to get a rip. Even if you're only doing four or five gallons of water with these bad boys. Pretty much use it to cool down and, you know, wash your hands off when you're handling the filthy mice. Let's go see if we can find that snake. If not, I'm gonna shut down. I've already done one too many for the day. Just been uh, cleaning out that camper. Mr. Snakey Snake. This is where I saw him earlier. And he just skedaddled under there. And there's also a chipmunk living in this. This is what I did with the remnants of a 1970 camper I had up here. I'm probably going to use a couple pieces of metal. The rest is going to recycle. I don't even remember where I got this door, but things like that. Door off the camper. That'll be your uh, root cellar door. Right now I have a root cellar elsewhere. It's a bunch of junk. I don't see Sammy anywhere. Sammy the snake. Anyways. I, it wasn't a rattler or anything like that. I noticed rattlers about uh, 10, 15, roughly miles north, but it's up in a creek. Here's the uh, poplar tree. It's doing really nice. Uh, see, there's lizards everywhere. You hear them. <laughs> it's a... Uh, a little downhill came through here. Got this all nice and moist. Pond it up right there, just like I want it to. Cut a tree down, replace it with something even better. So, all right, till next time, back to spring cleaning on the off grid. Later.